আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু মাই চ্যানেল জাহাঙ্গীর সায়েন্স স্কুল টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট এর এক্সেল আই জি সি এসি সার্টিফিকেট ইন ফিজিক্স ইউনিট ওয়ান চ্যাপ্টার ফাইভ দ্য টার্নিং ইফেক্ট অফ ফোর্সেস সো হোয়াট ইজ টার্নিং ইফেক্ট অফ ফোর্স when uh, we apply a force on an object and the force produces a rotation tendency about a pivot or axis then that force is known as turning effect of force say uh, if we uh, apply a force on this object on this object and the object produces a rotation tendency about the pivot then that force is known as turning effect of force so due to application of this force on the object uh, the object produces a rotation tendency about the pivot then that forces is known as turning effect of force so a force can cause many things to move or stop so uh, do you know what is force force is the external cause by which a rest object comes in motion or a motion object comes in rest or changes its direction of motion or direction of motion or shape and size it's called force so force can cause many things to move or stop but another thing uh, force can do a force when a force causes an object to turn this turning effect is called moment so uh, when a force if is applied on an object and it produces a rotation tendency about a pivot or axis then that force is known as turning effect of force turning effect of force so the moment or torque also known as turning effect of force so moment or torque of a force is the measure of the tendency of the force to rotate the body upon which it acts about an axis so look at the uh, diagram look at the picture the man tries to undo undo uh, the knot by using a long spanner so we use this uh, turning effect of force so remember the turning effect of force also known as moment so the moment of a force about any point is defined as the moment equal to force that means this force uh, and perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot so we need the perpendicular distance this one is the line of action of the force and this one is the pivot so perpendicular distance means this distance produces 90 degree angle with the direction of the force to the moment so that's why moment equal to force into perpendicular distance from the pivot to line of action of the force moment equal to force into d f into d unit of uh, moment is newton meter because unit of force is newton and unit of distance is meter that's why newton meter moment is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude and direction it has both magnitude and direction moment can either be clockwise or anti clockwise clockwise or anti clockwise so force if exerted an anti clockwise moment through the spanner on the nut so moment equal to remember moment equal to uh, force into perpendicular distance from the line of action line of action of the force to the pivot so perpendicular distance means this distance produces a right angle or 90 degree with the direction of the direction of the force so moment of force depends on uh, mainly two things one is amount of force that means size of the force and and perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot so so force depends on two things one is uh, force if force amount of force or size of the force increases then moment increases and if distance between line of action of the force to the pivot increases then force increases 
So a moment of a force is bigger if the force is bigger. The moment of a force is bigger if it acts further from the pivot. The moment of a force is greatest if it acts at 90 degree to the object it acts on. So moments in daily life. In our daily life, we use uh, turning effect of force. We make use of moments of forces in many areas of our daily lives. When we use broom to sweep the floor, one our hand. So this hand acts as a pivot and lower hand acts uh, apply apply force. One of our hands acts as a pivot while the other hand applies a force to produce a moment. So this uh, technique, turning effect of force, uh, uh, make easier our life. Then uh, another thing, look at the diagram uh, picture. When we use fishing rod, the end of the rod that pushes against our body acts as a pivot while our hand applies a force to produce the moment to lift the catch. Uh, picture number C, when we use wheelbarrow, the axis of the wheel acts as a pivot while our hands apply a force to produce a moment to lift the load. Now, uh, man-made devices that depend upon the moments of forces, moment of a force, hammer, hammer, scissors, spanner, levers, wheelbarrow, steering wheel uses the turning effect of force or moment. There is a mathematical problem. Question, calculate the moment exerted with claw hammer if the person exert a force of 80 Newton and distance D equal 25 centimeter then calculate the moment we know moment equal to moment equal to force into perpendicular distance moment equal to force into per so here uh, force is 80 newton but distance 25 centimeter remember uh, unit of moment is newton meter so uh, we have to convert this 25 centimeter into meter by dividing 100 100 so 80 newton uh, into 0 0.25 meter so uh, 20 newton meter clockwise moment because the uh, force is applied uh, right direction that's why it produces a clockwise moment clockwise moment now uh, question choose appropriate words to fill in the gaps below the moment of a force is another name for the turning effect of force. So, moment of the force, also known as a turning effect of force, turning effect of force. The moment of a force is equal to a force multiplied uh, by the perpendicular distance between the line of action, line of action of the force and the turning point. Turning point is known as moment, uh, pivot. Turning effect is measured in Newton meters and moments can be either clockwise or anticlockwise. Now center of mass. Look at the picture here. A toy uh, bars is balanced on its uh, on its uh, a point. So center of mass, the imaginary point where total mass of the object considered to act is called center of mass. So center of mass of a body is a point where whole mass of a body may be assumed to be concentrated. So center of the mass, uh, so center of the mass here, this point, that's why you know, this bar uh, is balanced on this point. So center of the mass of, uh, of a body is a point where whole mass, whole mass of the body may be assumed to be concentrated, assumed to be concentrated. So the center of mass is a point that represents the average location for the total mass of the system. Uh, 
the center of the mass will remain constant during a, a during any type collision now center of gravity center of gravity of a body is that point at which the weight of the body acts weight of the body acts. center of gravity of a of a symmetrical body is along axis of the symmetry so uh, if uh, it is rectangular or uh, rectangular shape then if two diagonals are two diagonals uh, is in, in inter intersect at a point that point is known as center of gravity and for a sphere or re, uh, circle the center is the center of gravity center of gravity is also sometimes called center of mass same thing so center of gravity can be defined as the point in a body or system around which its mass or weight is evenly distributed or balanced and through which the force of gravity acts center of mass is the point in a body at which the entire mass may be assumed to be concentrated we can we can uh, find out uh, the center of mass of an object by an experiment finding the center of gravity of the curve first uh, beats the curve at in in at least two places two places uh, suspend the curve from one of these holes and hang the pump line from this one is the pump line pump line uh, is required to uh, to draw the straight line on the laminar body so this one is the laminar body so hang a pump line from the point of suspension and using the pump line as the reference draw a vertical line on the curve and repeat for the other holes the center of gravity is where the lines cross on the point so this one is the center of gravity because uh, two lines intersect at that point now stability stability stable object uh, balanced unstable object a body is stable as long as the center of gravity remains vertical above its base so when uh, center of gravity position is completely vertical above its base then uh, that object is stable so stable refers the ability to return to return its original position original position after application of small amount tilt force so if this is not the case the body will trouble so what the factors make a modern racing car as stable as possible look at the picture here the car has the wider uh, wide base wide base and so a wide wheel base uh, is required here and a low center of gravity that, so look at the picture the center of gravity of the racing car is lower position that's why the racing car uh, is stable now principle of moment when an object is not turning or that means balanced so when an object is in equilibrium remember total clockwise moment is equal to total anti-clockwise moment total clockwise moment is equal to total anti-clockwise moment look at the diagram here uh, this one is a pivot it is a uniform rod and w1 uh, force acts left side and w2 uh, weight or force acts right side right side of the pivot so right side of the pivot if the direction of the force is downwards it produces a clockwise moment so here uh, here uh, produces a clockwise moment and w1 produces an anti-clockwise moment so uh, if the ruler above is uh, above is balanced then clockwise moment is anti clockwise moment so uh, clockwise moment here w2 is the force and distance is d2 so w2 into d2 equal to w1 into d1 remember if an object is balanced or in equilibrium then total clockwise moment must be equal to total anti-clockwise moment okay uh, now uh, look at the uh, look at the picture uh, here this plank is balanced 
this one is a pivot so there are four objects here f3 and f4 weight of the f3 and f4 acts downwards so in these two forces produces clockwise moment so on the other hand on the other hand uh, f1 and f2 produces anti clockwise moment so um, clockwise moment will be will be f3 into d3 plus f4 into d4 and in an anti clockwise moment is f1 into d1 plus f2 into d2 now uh, pro produce a principal moment formula for this diagram for this diagram here uh, weight weight of the weight of the uniform rod acts middle of the middle of the rod so this one is the center of gravity center of gravity so there are uh, there are two clockwise moment one is uh, weight of the plank weight of the rod and w2 is the weight of the beaker blue color beaker so uh, in equilibrium in equilibrium in equilibrium total clockwise moment total total clockwise moment clockwise moment is equal to total anti clockwise moment total anti uh, clockwise moment anti clockwise moment so here uh, total anti clockwise moment here uh, w not w0 w0 into uh, d3 d3 produces a clockwise moment plus uh, w2 into d2 w2 into d2 produces also clockwise moment so total clockwise moment equal to w0 into d3 plus w2 into d2 and on the other hand uh, w1 produces uh, an anti clockwise moment so w1 into uh, d1 d1 because uh, perpendicular distance from w1 to pivot is d1 so that's why total clockwise moment w w not into d3 d3 is the perpendicular distance from the pivot to uh, line of action of the uh, force that means weight of the uh, rod and w2 into d2 equal to w1 into d1 Tell me, uh, this one is balanced or not? Is it balanced or not? So first we have to uh, calculate the total clockwise moment. Clockwise. So this one produces a clockwise moment. So clockwise uh, five, clockwise uh, nine newton, nine newton into uh, five meter is the perpendicular distance because this one is the perpendicular distance and 8 newton also produces clockwise moment 8 newton into perpendicular distance is 4 meter so total clockwise moment total clockwise uh, moment moment is uh, so 8 9 and 9 5 45 newton meter plus 32 newton meter 32 newton meter so total so total here uh, 77 newton meter 77 newton meter is the clockwise moment on the other hand anti clockwise moment uh, anti clockwise moment anti clockwise moment here uh, this 10 newton produces anti clockwise moment so anti anti clockwise moment clockwise moment so anti clockwise moment 10 newton 10 newton into uh, distance is uh, 8 meter 8 meter on the other hand on the other hand on the other hand this uh, sep 8 newton
8 Newton into 4 meter, so 80 Newton meter plus 32 Newton meter, so to 110 Newton meter. On the other hand, clockwise, clockwise uh, 9 and 7, so here 7 Newton actually. My mistake, 7 Newton plus into 6 meter. So, 42. So, this one 7 and 8. So, uh, 87 Newton meter. Uh, clockwise movement is 87 Newton meter and uh, anti clockwise uh, is 112. 112 Newton meter. So, this uh, rod, blue color rod, is not balanced. So, because uh, clockwise moment is not equal to anti-clockwise moment, anti-clockwise moment. So, uh, my question was, is it uh, balanced or not? So, total clockwise moment, so 9 Newton force produces a clockwise moment. So, 9 Newton into perpendicular distance 5 meter. And uh, 7 Newton, this 7 Newton also produces a clockwise, uh, clockwise rotation. So 7 Newton into 6 meter perpendicular distance, 2 meter plus 4 meter, so 6 meter. So 45, 9, 45 Newton meter and 7, 6, 42. So, so uh, 45 plus 42. Uh, 87 Newton meter. On the other hand, anti clockwise moment, so uh, this 10 Newton uh, produces uh, anti clockwise moment. So 10 Newton into uh, 8 meter, and this 8 Newton produces also anti clockwise moment. So 8 Newton into 4 meter. So 80 Newton meter and 32 Newton meter, 112 Newton meter. So clockwise moment is not equal to anti clockwise moment in this case. That's why. Uh, this object is not balanced. Now, uh, now look at the uh, question here. There is a mathematical question. Uh, on a seesaw, this one is a uh, green color seesaw. Mary, Mary, weight 600 Newton, balances John, uh, weight 200 Newton. When she uh, sits 1.5 meter away from the pivot, how far from the uh, pivot is John. So let let uh, John is uh, x meter x meter far from from the pivot. Pivot. We have to find out this. So remember, uh, this uh, this uh, uh, seesaw is balanced. So in equilibrium, equilibrium, uh, total uh, clockwise moment. So John produces clockwise moment. Uh, John weight is 200 uh, Newton into distance is x meter, x meter, x meter, and uh, Mary. Weight of Mary is 600 Newton and distance is 1.5 meter. So now we have to find out the X. So X, that means uh, uh, distance between pivot to John. So 600 Newton into 1.5 meter divided by 200, 200 Newton. So here three, so 4.5 meter distance. So distance between uh, John to pivot is uh, 4.5 meter. 4.5 meter. So distance is 4.5 meter from the from the. So John is 4.5 meter from the. Pivot from the pivot. Uh, this is your homework. Uh, try to solve this question. Here, uh, question is we have to find out the. 
So calculate the weight of the beam. Calculate the weight of the beam W0 if it is balanced when W1 is 6 Newton and D1. D1 is the distance between uh, known weight to pivot is 12 centimeter and D0. D0 is the distance between uh, distance uh, distance between D0. D0 is the distance between uh, weight of the weight of the beam to pivot we have to find out the for find out the weight of the beam so try to solve this question this question is very easy try to solve and write the answer in the comment comment on the video okay thank you